Oh no! Oh no! Call the fire department! So this is, uh, unexpected for our first video. Um, we're making so much money that we literally caught this place on fire. What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back in Farm Manager 2021, which comes out tomorrow. Looking forward to it and I'm going to show you how to start getting on that gravy train, trying to make yourself a rich farmer. At least get you on the right path. So first we're going to build some parking lots. They're necessary. They're, they're needed. We need them right now. Food down some electricity. We'll make a road that goes all the way around, round and round. It's beautiful, wonderful, awesome, fantastic. So now what we'll do is I'm going to make a nice, big, biggest plot of land. It's huge. It's the hugest plot of land that we're going to see. And we'll also make a row ad that goes around that side. If it so pleases us. Then we'll have ourselves a lovely place for a social gathering, a social quarters. Gotta flip it around. It's beautiful, man. And you know what? Just like we did in the live stream, it's simple, it's easy, and it makes everyone happy. Some hemp. Okay, so you can really decide to pick whichever plant you choose. Next, you'll have to get the machinery that's built up with our hemp plants. You're gonna need it. It's gonna be a problem if you don't get the gear. So you can head on in and click on the field. Just by clicking on the field, go to more, and this is what you need to succeed and get through your day. All right, now once that's said and done, as you can see, we need to fill the place up to the tippy top with people. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some electricity so that we can then hire some clowns. All right, so we're gonna go in and hire. This guy's pretty good with machines. Let's hire him. I like him. He's a good guy. Now we're gonna need someone with animals and planting experience because it's super easy to make cash in this game, especially if you take the time, we are in sandbox mode. We're gonna go ahead and hire these planners. I mean, is she really a planner? Is she really as a machiner and a planner? Gotta, gotta do it. And you know what? I'm gonna click on you. I'm also going to give you a little something to do right there, my friends, because we're also going to go on in and get some production going. Already, yes. Seeds and seedling production. We're gonna flip this around. We put in the corner. This will be a constant source, a constant source of money coming in. It's almost essential, almost essential. So we're gonna have our tractor. He's already coming out there. They're gonna plow our hemp fields. It's gonna be fantastic, amazing, exquisite. Next, we're gonna need whatever animals suit your fancy. Now, every single year, you're gonna have something up top here to worry about something that's up in the air. Looking good, the stonks are looking real nice, real nice. And you can decide whether or not you want to do a bunch of these if you want to try and achieve this kind of goal to make a certain cash. So what we're going to do is once this is built to the seeds, we're going to purchase a thing called Lupine. And Lupine is a quality seed, it's a quality product. It's also good for feeding carp, I believe. So I might start a fish farm. It's different. And then we'll start some greenhouses. The, the, the whole goal here is to try and get five sources of income, somehow, shape, or form, that it's constantly rolling in that will make this money up in the top left just rocket for you. Let's go ahead and speed some of this up. What do you say? All right, so now what we're going to need for the seeds <laughs> is some storage. We're going to need it all. Storage. You know, I'm going to go to medium silo. We're going to put this right around here. Pop that bad boy right there. Let's get some planters in here. Some, some fancy, some fancy folk. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna be basically in this one screen. This is gonna be the trading screen. This is where you can manage the entire farm and what's coming in and what's coming out to and fro for you and yours. So let's hop back in, it's right here. It's like a marketplace, trade, add trade item. Now what we're gonna get is this lupine and we're gonna get organic lupine. Oh, or lupine, lupine, lupine. And we're gonna keep a constant two hundo in here, at least a minimum. But then also we're going to buy some lupine. Make sure it's organic. It's going to be all all organic, okay? And we're gonna get four thousand this, and you're like, oh my god, fifteen grand. It's okay. It's okay. 
It's at the 390 right now. But if you sell the organic lupine seeds, if you sell them, they go for 19. So these are all things that we have to think about. So now we're going to get them. We're going to change the production. Boom. And then once our warehouse comes into play, which we're going to need anyway, let's go ahead and get some storage, more storage, marketplace for warehouse. I'll tell you what, we're going to put this jam right here. Uh, we'll put it right there. We'll get a nice little road going through here. Yes, yes. Our seeds, they're in production. It takes 100 of them to make 80, so you get a little bit of a trade-off there, but it's going to work out in the end, I promise you. All right, so now these seeds are being made. Now, how do we sell the seeds? Immediately. So you go into the trader, go into trade, and then we got these lupine, but then you want to go and add another trade item. And we'll get those lupine seeds, those organic lupine seeds, boop. And it's right here. Now listed, if it goes over the certain number, it'll trade everything above the certain number. So we're always gonna have 200 in our uh, warehouses. But if you just take this, go to zero, it will trade every single time that it's got some stock. And you're gonna consistently get money coming in up to the tippy top, all just from lupine seeds. It's Fantastic. Now that is just the beginning. This is where we begin. Now we need some, we need some, some animals. Let's go nuts. Let's go to fish farming. Wow. 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 Fantastic. All right. Now we're going to need someone that can work with animals. This guy's fantastic. Beautiful. Jackson Willis. Great name. Great name. Jackson Willis. I'll hire you. And while we're at it, we might as well get a barn. So let's go ahead and snag up a barn. We'll put it right over here. I love it. Now, when the animals come in, we'll have to import some things. But I think since we're already importing lupine, it actually helps out. Let's assign our animal guy. Boom. What can we buy? Let's get some carp. What can we eat? Use only organic. Gets the best quality, the, the most, the bestest quality you could possibly get. Now, here's the thing. When it comes to lupine or even just the uh, ingredients getting sent in to here, you can see the chosen food quality. If you just get two or three of these items, it boosts up the uh, food quality. And then everything that comes out of this, which is basically just the carp itself, you just keep on buying it. Keep on rock and rolling it. And it's just going to make nothing but high end, the bestest of the best around carp. You know, what? I'm going to fill her up. So we're going to have to constantly have some lupine coming in, which we already do. We already do. But we're going to need some more things. We're going to maybe possibly, possibly make another field. Now, just a hot tip for everybody is that if you want to choose the quality of the food, always try to shoot for three Four or five, you know, it's it's not necessary. It only boosts it up an extra 10% after the three have been selected. So it's quite good. But now, since we're making a ton of carp, we can go into our traders, go into the trading section, add trade item, carp. Now, is this technically, bio, uh, this, this should be a, a, organic. It should be an organic, this is an organic fish right here, brother. Boom, organic carp. How much do those go for? Well, I'm glad you asked. They go for five. Five dollars. Make you holler. But I like that. It's constant. It's constant. Let's go ahead and add the trade item. Sell a bunch. Put it to zero. Got 156 in there. Boom. We're making cheddar. Can't go wrong. I mean, you can go wrong. But you kind of can't at the same time. Now, up top here, we also have... Some buckwheat, buckwheat honey. This was going, this was going hot. I do enjoy the honey collection. Buckwheat is top notch. Hemp is also a way to get some multi flowers. Oh, some multi flowers going. I kind of dig that. So you know what? Let's try something a little fresh, something a little new, a little blue. Big field. I kind of want to have a huge field. I want to have a nice lodge field. Yes. And what we're going to do is we're going to plant some buckwheat. Like little rascals and crap. All right, we got to buy some certain items. Pop it there because we have, we need to succeed. And this is a giant trailer, which means I'm going to have to purchase another farm. 
or another garage. Which I actually like these garages too. I'm gonna put you right here, brother. And we'll put it right there. So now that that's planted and that's all set up and fine and dandy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another row ad here. Beautiful row ads, love them. And we're gonna get ourselves some animals, get the bees. Bees! They're everywhere. Our weapons are useless against them. We'll pop that. And it's gonna be all kinds of high and tight. We're gonna hire a beekeeper. If we can find one, someone good. Beekeeping and endurance, well. Gotta have that endurance. It's a sign. Amazing. And now with this, we're going to purchase all of the items here. Oh yeah. Fine, we'll put it all right there. And now this is gonna be killing it when it comes to honey production. Multi-flower honey and buckwheat honey once it comes into play. So you go back into your trader section. And again, add trade item, honey. And we're straight killing the game, buckwheat honey. Pop it to zero, more honey. And boom, you got yourself income now i'm also going to purchase another tractor it's always good to have a second secondary guy i like it we'll pop it in over here and i'm also going to purchase just for fun special items others we're going to get some a mechanics garage yeah necessary loop that down and also i'm going to put in Get a nice little irrigation system going on here, brother. Let's just pop it right there. We're gonna get electricity going to it. Oh yeah, we're gonna be super fancy. Last but not least, greenhouse in it up. Big greenhouse. I like to get some special little grapes or even just a nice little area. I'm gonna boop it right there. Okay, and then we go ahead and we'll click on something, whatever we wanna make. Something that's probably a little quick, so it's a constant stream of income. My favorite is black plant plants. It takes 50 days. You get three grand estimated field value. And if you're doing organic, it just doubles it. You know, doubles, triples price, the value. And it's better for everybody involved. Yes. What's the matter? What do you need? Hmm? Hold on. That's what's going down. Got to or organic it up. Beautiful thing. Gets a little lawn decorations here. Makes everybody just happier. Makes everyone makes a happy worker when they're when they're surrounded by beautiful things. It's understandable. Gorgeous things. Maybe another plant on the way to the shop. You know, something nice and pretty for everybody. All right, and we're making everything: multi-flower honey, buckwheat honey. Oh yeah, it's quality stuff. And we can just keep these two things a rolling. And you're gonna be A-OK. -okay. We have our black currant that's now growing or being harvested. And the two things here are constantly being imported. I would like to have some sort of field to make a third item here, something. All right, I'm gonna do something wild here, something I probably shouldn't do for the sake of this tutorial. But you never know, you never know. Let's go ahead and put some colza. Oh, we're gonna do some colza seeds. Trailer for strawberries, we already have that. It's a beautiful thing. And we're also gonna get some wheat. <laughs> That's too much. I know, I know, I'm crazy. But I want some wheat and it's gotta be organic. Maybe even some soybeans, cause this way we can actually keep soy rolling in here. Oh, how much is this? Wheat seeds, organic, organic. What about organic wheat seeds? Ooh, I like that. Plus, we could also sell the straw. Let's do it. Locks that. And this way, we're going to plant some coals over right here. This way, the bees are going to have triple the love. And the wheat will then be harvested for our fishy fishies. So that way, we can have a triple shot. And that's going to not just, it's going to knock out the uh, proficiency of our shop. It's going to be awesome and fantastic. We do need to get some more people. And you know what? Over here, we are actually making a bunch of cash. 
We're making a bunch of cash. Although we do need to keep on hiring, folks. There we go. Machines, planting, get to work. All right, so let's just get the skinny on this. So we have hemp, which we're going to sell. Buckwheat, which makes buckwheat and colza, which we'll then sell eventually. And then the bees are making honey. We got, we got a black currant plant. That's going to be popping up every 50 days. And we're constantly selling carp. And then you can just kind of sit back and just enjoy life. Let's hop into the trader section here. Also, don't forget, in the hiring section all the way down here, it's so key. It's so clutch. These are your trainings. Go ahead, hop on in here, increases strength of employees, increases machine durability by 10%. This is what we're going to start off. Reduces bills by 2%. It doesn't take much. Seven days, 14 days. You could probably complete this entire thing in, an in just one whole year. It costs probably, I believe, around it's two grand, four grand, to 24 grand for the whole thing. But it's going to reduce your bills by 12%. And reduce land prices by 10% as well. So that way, if you want to expand, you can do so on the cheap side. And we're going to need, uh, what else do you need? What, what, what's, what's the problem? What, what, what are you saying? Wheat, organic. Oh, okay. So we need manure. You got it, brother. All right. So we need to import manure or we make a new animal shelter. And I say we make a new animal shelter. Mm, let's do it. I dig it because when the production starts kicking up, you're really going to want to have something going on. And plus, the animals make things for you to make money on. It's a beautiful thing. Now, what we'll do, I'm going to hop over here. We're going to get some animals. You know what? I'm feeling some sheeps. Some sheeps or some goats. Small shed. It's, I don't know why it's spinning so fast. It's giving me, it's giving me quite, hey man, hey man, settle down, settle down, kid. You're getting, out of, you're getting a little, ha little out of hand over here. All right, farm animals, it's happening. And when it comes to storage, warehouses, let's get the manure in there. So I'm not buying manure, I'm not doing that. But this way it'll store the manure, store the manure. And we're gonna get some sheeps in here and also they take wheat as well. Ah, it's a beautiful thing. And some soybeans. We're gonna double dip, brother. We're gonna double dip. Wheat organic. Got any animal any any animal lovers in here? Of course not. We'll have to hire one more animal lover and also buy a new house. Alright, we'll hire. Let's get an animal lover in here. Beautiful. Hire this glass. Gorgeous. And let's just keep buying them sheepy sheepies. Let's just buy a bunch of them. And this is where you gotta this is basically where you sit back and chill. Just for a little bit. All right, so in the trade section here, we're gonna have some hemp, we're gonna have some hemp products coming in here. We can make oil from it. We can make, that's really about it. <laughs> that's really, really about all we can do. So when it comes to selling, the second that those crops are done, sell them all. And it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. And just add trade items for all of your lovely, lovely things here. For all your crops automatically do it so we got colza and we're gonna have organic wheat the organic wheat is for us don't forget the black craw okay we'll hop on in with our trade so we got the black currant that's automatically gonna sell zero buckwheat zero we gotta have some colza because we're not really caring too much about the actual product itself because it's just for the bees so now that we have colza in there, we'll be able to also sell the colza. Honey, beautiful, loving it. But not only with that, because we have sheep over here too. Okay, this needs some people. It's got some people over here. This needs people over here too. Because we have sheep, we have manure here as well, collecting all of, you know, poop. <laughs> it must be done. But it also makes, since we're making bio uh, organic, we're, we're feeding the best foods ever. It's making organic milk, organic wool, which means cheddar. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and trade. Add trade item, manure. If we have some manure, we can go ahead and sell that. Pop that there. Not only do we have some wool, but it's organic wool, so it's it's so soft. It's just so soft. Pop it in zero. And then we'll add another item here. Sheep's milk. It's organic fantastic 
nutritious and delicious for you and for me. But not only just that, like if you want to buy some organic sheep's milk, they're just making this stuff for us, brother. And it's $22 a carton. The wool, we're getting $29 per bushel. So it's a hundred. So every hundred we get $22 or 2000, I'm sorry, <laughs> $2,256 per hundred. Two thousand nine hundred dollars per one hundred of sheep's wool, and it's just it's just coming in full clip. Now, as far as manure is concerned, I don't think you actually get a whole bunch of cash, but you know, twenty six cents, twenty six f, whatever that is. It's constant stream. It's all about those streams of income, and you're witnessing it. This is it. This is how you start. <laughs> it's sitting back, relaxing, and making sure that you're getting everything on the cheap. Let's not get crazy here. Oh no! Oh no! Call the fire department! So this is uh, unexpected for our first video. Um, we're making so much money that we literally caught this place on fire. <laughs> oh no! Little help. Can I get the fire? Yeah, fire, fire department go through that car. Watch out everybody. You're spraying the wrong house. And technically this is a storage facility too, so we're losing a lot of product. Hopefully we don't lose any product. Kill the fire, please. Can we kill the fire? Here, let's speed it up a bit. A tad, a smidge. Renovate for $1,000. Uh, it's gonna cost you some cheddar. It's gonna cost you some of that cheddar. Uh, I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> Whoops. We're gonna use use of renewable energy sources, 2,200 bucks, seven days. Let's speed up time. As you can see, 293,000 just by sitting here for a couple days, seven days, we're making around $13,000. Just hanging back now, we're gonna make some serious cheddar here because others, after we have unlocked the windmills, get after it. And I'm gonna put these towards the edge. Don't push me because I'm close to the edge. They're 40 grand each, they're 40 grand a pop. And I like to just spread them out by one. So they got a little bit of space. I don't understand. Since they create energy, they must actually need energy. I don't get it. Aren't you supposed to use the power of the wind? And this is going to generate $1,000 a month per windmill in our pockets. Now we're down to $212,000, but it's fine. It's fine, everybody. Got some organic wheat. Don't worry, we're making some for one, and two. We've ordered some more. It's gonna be fine. And this is it. This is all you gotta do to sit back and get started. It's gonna give you a nice base of cash. It's just trying to get five things that you're gonna get income from, and then it just turns into six things, and then it turns into 10 things, and then it turns into 15 things. But this is the window that you're gonna be in. Here, listen, I'll just, uh, yes, you know what, I'll buy it. Just get off my back, just get off my back. This is the screen that you're going to be in to try and manage this whole shebang of bang. All your imports, exports. There we go. I forgot the honey. That's that's our biggest honey pot. And we just made five grand as it is. So I also have the hemp and all of our crops on full sell. So that, that way, when everything comes up again, it gets harvested, it'll get automatically replanted. And when we have a surplus of it, we'll sell the surplus of it so that we don't have anything really in our warehouses clogging up the joint we're just making straight cash homie straight cash homie all right the hay bales have been collected and i put a little trade on there too so that that way once we have them we can immediately sell them it's not going to be nuts we got 450 of it so it's not too bad how much does it go for 20 kilograms <laughs> 20 cents for every hundred Fantastic. We get 20 bucks per bushel or whatever. Oh, our hemp, our hemp, she is done. Yeah. The hemp has been harvested. Clear all. How much money we making? Ah, uh, got 13 grand. Oh, all that sold. We're back up to $256,000 and we're just going back up to 300K. Now, once we get over 300K, we can start thinking about getting some production, probably get some cheese action. Make some cheese from this milk, which actually gives us, I think, double the profit 
but it does have another supply system. So you got to think about it because you got to hire somebody. You also have to hire, uh, build the place. You have to hire like two people to be able to produce it on an effective level. Just saying. So we got the sheep, but not only do we have the sheep's milk, we're going organic here too, aren't we? I believe we are. Yes, we are. So it's going to be some serious money eventually. We got sheep's. And just the organic yeast milk goes for $22.49 for every hundred, $2,249 for every hundred. Or if you want to go organic sheep cheese, literally double the price. But again, you have to, you know, hire a couple of extra people, but it's more things, more, more items to add to the repertoire and our fans are big fans of it. Huge, huge fans. And it seems like we're running out of lupine. And that's okay. We'll just order some more. And we might actually think about making a field just for lupine so that we don't have to constantly order it over and over again. Nothing too crazy. Not a huge street. No, not a huge field that we can mess around with. We can maybe put one over here, a lupine field, just to be able to supply our seeds and our fishy fishies. Or if we decide we want to make something else when it comes to the seeds, we can totally do that too. It's, it's our it's our choice. It's fantastic. But folks, that is how you get started here and get on a constant tip. This trading screen is where you need to succeed. Everything you need to make and sell comes through here. Whatever you're planning on selling, just pop it in and set it and forget it. And then you got your hands up. My, my hands aren't even on the computer screen. Ugh. Just watching the money roll in and that's the whole point of this game is not actually working hard, but working smart. It's a beautiful thing. So folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, help some my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day. Live streams every single week right here on YouTube. Peace out, let's chat, y'all. And I will check you out right here again. Farm Manager 2021. Next time. It's raining. Jeez. It's a serious storm out here, guys.